In this video, I'm going to show you how to locate and use your jack. We're working on this F-250, so let's get started. To access the jack, you're going to want to go in from the passenger side and fold up the passenger side of your rear bench seat. Pull up on this lever and fold the seat up. Make sure it clicks into place so that it doesn't fall down on you while you get your jack out, which is located right here. You'll see this knob here, the uh, threads of it will actually let go of the jack if you unscrew it. You don't have to take it out all the way, but you do have to release it most of the way. And there is your jack. The jack handle is located right there, so you would simply just pull that out. But for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to. I'm just going to show you where and how to use this jack. If you had a flat tire in the front, you would simply position the jack either over here, but preferably right underneath the front axle. You would just lift the side that you need to raise off the ground. If it's the passenger side, go over here. If it's the driver's side, go over there. You could try to lift it right by here where the, uh, the shock mounts uh, underneath the axle, but it could get a little bit tricky just because of the limited amount of space. This being a bottle jack and fairly unsecure, I do not recommend lifting on this trailing arm right here or anything that moves, which you shouldn't do anyway, but when you put the truck on the lift, you can lift it here, just not with a bottle jack. Another place not to jack up on is the tie rods that may seem sturdy enough, but unfortunately they are not and you will cause damage. As for the rear, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just slide the jack, well, in the, under here if you want to, but preferably right on the rear axle over there, just like in the front, and lift up the side that you need to change the tire on. To put this back, make sure you face the orange knob down, and you'll see that the jack has a little hook there on the outer lip. It does not on this side. You want to put that hook underneath the threads of this uh, knob. That's basically what locks it in. This tab has to slide over the hook, just like so, and tighten it down. Make sure you lift it up off the ground a little bit so that when it's tightened, it sits on these rubber pads, not on the floor. That way it doesn't rattle around as you drive. Make sure you uh, tighten it up nice and tight for that exact reason. You don't want it to rattle on you. And now to put your seat down, pull the lever back up, drop the seat down, and off you go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.